Okay. Um, this is our next lesson. So this is actually chapter 3. Kung tanawon siya after the measurements. So wala na didiri computation except for the sa inyong lab, protons, neutrons, and electrons. We will be talking about atoms, molecules, and ions. So what are our objectives for this topic? First, describe the structure of an atom and its composition. Next, determine how elements are grouped together according to their chemical and physical properties in the periodic table. And then, discuss... Discuss how most elements interact to form compounds which are classified as molecules or ionic compounds made of positive and negative ions. So we learned in the laboratory when you say positive na ions, we call them cations and negative ions are called anions. And lastly, identify how to use chemical formulas molecular and empirical to represent molecules and ionic compounds and models to represent molecules. So, so this is where now you have to be familiar with the different elements, the names and symbols of these elements so that we can uh, use them when we make the chemical formula. Okay, or the other way around, wherein I'll give you the chemical formula and you will be giving me the name of the compound. So that is the reason why in the laboratory you were asked to draw the periodic table. So what, are, what will be our topics for this one? We have the atomic theory, the structure of the atom, atomic number, mass numbers, and isotopes. Number four, we have the periodic table. Number five, molecules and ions. And take note, lastly, we, 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 we will have the chemical formula. So let's start. We'll have now the atomic theory. So this one will be a sort of the history, how atom was disco discovered. Now everything starts or everything started with Democritus. That's the first name written in the history uh, of the discovery of atoms. Democritus, he was a Greek philosopher um, in 15th century BC. So he was actually the first one to describe that matter consists now of very small indivisible particles. And he named it atomos. Again, De Democritus named the content of matter as atomos. He described it as very small and at the same time indivisible. Dili sila ma-divide na particles. So kanang atomos na name ang meaning ana kay uncutable or indivisible. Indivisible I mean. So dili daw siya ma-divide. Maon daw na siya ang naa sa atong mga matter. So again, everything started with Democritus. However, syempre, there, are a, there were lots of experiments conducted and evidences from those times uh, provided support for the notion of um, atomism. Meaning, ang ingon ni Democritus class na support to siya with evidences na indeed there is a small na particle sa mga matter na to. And this gradually gave rise to the modern definitions of elements and compounds. So nasuportahan tong iingon ni Democritus nga indeed na ay atom. Pero ang, ang tawag lang niya at that time kay atomos, kay ano daw to siya, particle na dili ma-divide. So that's the first one sa history. Now number two, number two, person here involved in the discovery of atom was the English scientist and school teacher named John Dalton. So unsa pud ang gihimo ni John Dalton? He formulated a precise definition of the indivisible building blocks of matter and that's what we call now atoms. So again, siya ang naghatag og precise na definition of atom. Kung unsa ng atom, that's an indivisible building block sa matter. Pagpangutanon mo, what is the 
basic unit or the uh, the building block of matter it's atom and the the basic definition and the precise definition was provided by John Dalton so let us summarize now the work of John Dalton unsa ba iyang na discover during his experiment so number one, according to John Dalton, elements are composed of extremely small particles called atoms. So the definition of atoms here gives uh, gave rise to the development also and discovery of elements. So according to him, elements are composed of extremely small very small na mga particles and he called it atoms so lahi na tong kay democritus ha kasi he called it atomos this time atoms na siya and then another one another discovery sa experiment ni john dalton all atoms of a given element are identical so pag pag moingon daw ka og hydrogen nga element syempre parehas tanan ang atoms nga naa sa tanang hydrogen sa tibuok na kalibutan. Okay? So, tanang hydrogen nga naa sa Earth, they are made up of one type of atom. And that atom daw have the same mass, uh, the same size, and the same chemical properties. Therefore, ang atom sa isa ka-element is actually different from all the other elements. Ang atom ni hydrogen is different sa atom ni helium. Okay? Pero pag maingon kag hydrogen, pareho sila tanan o atoms. The same ang size, ang shape, and ay sorry, ang mass, and even their chemical properties. Tapos, number three, Compounds are composed of atoms of more than one element. Again, compounds are composed of atoms of more than one element. So karon ang mga elements nato nga na ay atoms, they can combine with each other and pag mag-combine sila, ang resulting ana nga product is called a compound. So in any compound, the ratio of the number of atoms of any two of the elements present is either an integer or a simple fraction. So ang sa meaning, Anna, pag ang ato ang mga elements daw mag-combine to form a compound like the salt, the NaCl, they will combine in... Um, Ano siya, integer or small, uh, simple fraction like this one. This one is an integer. Para mabuo ang atong ginatawag o asin or table salt, kailangan na itong isa ka-atom ni sodium o isa ka-atom ni chloride or ni chlorine. So 1 is to 1 ang ilahang ratio. That's what you call um, a compound now. Kaya nag-combine naman silang duha. And that is also true for water. You need two atoms of hydrogen mag-combine siya sa isa ka-atom ni oxygen. Muna siya ang na-discover ni John Dalton. But everything revolves around atoms. Ang first niyang na-discover atoms class and ang atoms is na siya sa mga elements. Tapos ang mga elements pwede sila mag-combine to form the compounds in a specific ratio. Next, a chemical reaction involves only the separation, combination, or rearrangement of atoms. It does not result in their creation or destruction. So, meaning nga ni, if we have chemical reactions class, again, pag naatay chemical reactions, unsa lang na siya, it involves separation. Pwede mag-separate. Example na kay asin. Pwede mag-separate si sodium o si chloride. Or the other way around. You have sodium plus chloride. You will have NaCl. So that's separation and then combination. Or even rearrangement of atoms. So pwede po glass na ma arrange ang atuang mga atoms just like sa 
um, carbon carbon dioxide plus water, there will be arrangement. This will become the ayan. So this will become now the carbonic acid. It's still combination, pero there is a rearrangement of atoms there. Pero pag may ngundo kag chemical reaction, walay makreate na bagong atoms or walay madestroy na existing one. So parehas ani, nagcombine kag sodium or chloride, uh, sorry, nag, nag hiwalay kag sodium or chloride, you will still get the sodium and the chloride. No new element is formed or no new atom is formed and wala po'y na-destroy na atom. So, mo ni siya class ang mga na-discover ni John Dalton sa iyahang experiment. So, gisugdan lang na po class ang history but um, the rest class we will continue next meeting. Pero before to mag-continue sa atong discussion, oh. we will have a quiz first. Some measurements, okay? I hope that is clear. Some measurements.